What's going on everybody? Welcome to part 13 of our Matplotlib tutorial series. In this video we're going to be talking about a little more customization. Uh, then we're going to get into open, high, low, close candlestick charts and some more interesting stuff as well. So first of all, what I want us to go ahead and show is like, let's bring up the chart now. Uh, something you might want to do from time to time is change the color of maybe an axis here uh, or remove the axes entirely or something. So let's go ahead and talk about how either of these things might be accomplished. So coming on down, uh, basically here is where we're doing all the AX1 stuff, right? Um, generally, I put the plots in a little group and then I also put the modifications in a little group. So doing that would be more like this. Plot, 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 and then the modifications in its own little group. Do whatever you want, whatever makes the most sense to you. Um, it's just for me. Um, one thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, comment out these two lines. We're not really, I see no reason to change those colors necessarily, but we can if we want. The next thing I want us to go ahead and do is just, uh, basically after the set Y ticks, we'll just come down here. And what we can do is we can do AX1.spines. That's the kind of where those little tick markers are and that at the, the edge of the graph basically. And then you reference the specific spine that you might wanna change. So we'll say spines and then left, right? You've got left, bottom, top, and right. So left, so spines left, we could dot set underscore color and we could set this color to cyan, okay? Uh, another thing that we could do is we could say ax1.spines and like let's get rid of the rightmost spine and the top spine. So we would say spines right uh, dot set underscore visible and we'll set that to false. And then we'll just take this line, copy, paste, change right to top, and that's basically it. So let's go ahead and run that real quick, see what we're looking at. Okay, so uh, it's kind of hard to tell, but this line is indeed cyan, <laughs> okay? And then there is no uh, marker, or uh, no spine up here or down here. It's a little hard to tell, plus we also have this silly gray background, but you can take my word for it or like squint and lean in really close to your screen to tell. So, so there's that. Uh, and instead of Twitter, let's do eBay. Twitter just doesn't have as long a data. So eBay, and now coming back up here, uh, so we've, you know, removed some stuff. What about, uh, what if we wanted to make, like, for example, what if we don't want to lean in to see that we changed the color of this spine? Well, what we can do is we can say, uh, we can do ax1.spines and then we'll reference left again and we'll say dot set underscore line width, line width to five. Okay, so now we are going to see that that is a cyan line. Sure enough we can tell it's a cyan line. Nice. So then we can close out of here. Uh, another thing that we can do is we can change the little tick parameters. So um, this is like, you know, down here. So how do we do that? How might we change those tick parameters? Well, we can come over here. Let's put these together. And then we'll say ax1.tick underscore params. And then we specify which axes. Let's do the x axes. Axes equals x. And we'll say the colors uh, will be, let's do uh, these hash colors. So these are called hex colors. So generally when I'm trying to find hex color codes, I'm really not advertising for this site or anything. I just like this site. So I guess I'm advertising for it, but I'm not paid for it. So anyway, I always come here to get my hex color codes, but like, yeah, let's see, we wanna do, uh, I don't know, this orangish color right here. Cool, picked it, control A, copy that bad boy. Coming on over here. We'll make the colors that that color. So do whatever you want, but this is F06215. Okay, so we change that color. Let's save and run that. And there you go. So our little tick labels here, so 2006, 7, 8, all that. We change those colors. Now those are, you know, a crazy color. Now, generally, when it comes to like the spine colors and text colors and stuff like that, you really should not stray too far from black, but black is kind of annoying. But usually what people do with like text color is, you know, you start with a black like this, but then you lighten it just slightly and it just, it's more appealable to the eyes for whatever reason. So that's what most people do. Like this is a great example, like this text right here, that's not black. That's like a lighter black, right? Or a light or a very dark gray. Okay. Um, 
So, and like the same with this text and most text on most websites is not a solid black. So uh, that's why making that little tiny change, maybe to these little labels and stuff that can help, but um, it's not really required, but and pretty soon I'll show you an easier way than modifying everything. But uh, anyways, so those are your ticks, uh, add, remove, spines, all that. Um, really that's all I, oh, actually, you know what? I want to show a horizontal lines as well. So let's say, um, let's say, cause like right now we kind of have this like fake line being drawn here. It's not, there's not really a line that marks that first price, but let's say you really wanted like a really obvious line there. Well, what you could do is you can do what's called an H line. And so an example of doing that would be like, you sh this is a plot. So you would put it up with your plots basically. Uh, but what you'll do is you'll say AX1 dot um, AX H line. So axis horizontal line. You could do a vertical line too if you wanted. And then you basically specify at what point is that line. Well, we want that line to be at the close P zero mark. And then we can specify the color. So we can say color equals, um, and we'll just make it K for now. And then let's also say line width equals five. So it's a real thick line right there. Uh, that marks kind of where we invested. So we can save and run that. And there you go. You've got this nice strong line that marks that point. Again, I recognize this chart is super ugly. The goal is just to show you the customization, not make a pretty chart yet. We will get to making our graphs pretty, but uh, for now, I just want to show the options. Okay, so that's an option for you. <laughs> I don't suggest making it that fat, but that is your option. You can do whatever you want. It's your chart. So anyway, uh, we're all done at this point, I think, with this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments up to this point uh, or on this tutorial specifically, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time.